Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine, and today we are going to do our first print on our new Glowforge Aura machine, the new craft laser, and we're gonna be doing these two ornament files. This is a zip code ornament that I have right here. And I also have a first home key ornament, and I'm gonna actually have these two free files for you to download from our website. The link will be in the description box below so that you can go ahead and start printing as well. All right guys, here it is, the beautiful new Aura machine. If you haven't seen it already, it is really lightweight, really compact. You can really put it anywhere. As you can see, it is in my kitchen right now. Um, but yeah, let's just open it up and see what it looks like. Here's the camera right up here that will go to your computer. And I'm gonna go ahead and place in my material. So I have my 12 by 12 inch light blast, basswood plywood material. It has a QR code on here from Glowforge. You can, you can use other material other than proof grade material, but this is what I have right here right now. So I'm gonna use this for my ornaments. And um, I'm gonna go to my computer in just a second to show you what it looks like on the screen. But also I have my compact air filter plugged in, ready to go. So we are really all set. I, what I really like about this also is that this just slides right on to the back of the machine. Unlike, you know, sometimes you have to have a clamp or something and try to wiggle it on really, it can be really tough sometimes. And this is just super, super nice because it just wiggles right onto the machine. It's really snug fit once it's on there and you don't have to mess with any clamps. So just a side note right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to printing. Okay, so this is what it looks like on my screen right now from my printer. So again, this is 12 by 12 inch light basswood plywood material, and it is proof grade material, so the settings will automatically be entered from using this barcode right here. But if you use other material, you can always enter your own settings. Let's go ahead and import the file at the plus sign up top here and upload. And I just select a file saved on my computer. SVG usually works the best, and that's what I typically use for any laser cutting. And like I said, these settings will automatically be entered for this, which is really nice. I'm just gonna move it onto the screen to wherever it fits on the material. So you don't wanna get too close to the edge of the material um, just to make sure it stays on. So I'm just gonna place it right there. I think that's good enough. And then I'm going to make sure my settings are correct. So I have engraving, cutting, and scoring going on. So I do want this to engrave, engrave. This is actually supposed to be scored. So I'm going to click on it and go to score. And then this is also supposed to be scored. So again, click on that, click score. And this is supposed to be cut. So this is the outline of the ornaments. So that is correct, that is supposed to be cut. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click print and we're gonna see what it looks like at the end. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and push that button. All right, so far so good. It is complete and I'm gonna go ahead and just take out this sheet of material and I'm gonna have to just pop it out, pop the ornaments out of the material in just a second. And also obviously there's masking on this, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that. So overall, I am pretty happy with the machine. I love how compact it is. I love how easy it is to use. Um, this is definitely the easiest machine I've used so far to date. And I just love how small it is and that you can just put it anywhere in your house. The compact air filter is super lightweight and easy to move as well. If you have a Plus or a Pro model, you know that those compact air filters, if you have one, are extremely heavy. So it's very hard to move that by itself, let alone the machine as well. 
So for this to be movable wherever I want it to go, and plus I'm going to have my kids, you know, use it as well with me. They can start making things on it with my help, obviously. But it's just like a nice family kind of hobbyist machine that really any crafter would probably enjoy having. So I am very happy with it. And here is the up close ornament of the zip code ornament that I have. We'll focus it in here. So the quality of it came out pretty good. Um, I had some scoring, engraving, and cutting, so it did a little bit of everything. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, especially with this type of craft laser. Um, I have no complaints about it so far. So I hope you enjoyed that print. And as I said before, I'm going to have this file available for free. Um, I'm gonna have the link in the description box below and you'll be able to download it from my website.